Before we start this video, I'm going to make a quick announcement. I'm giving away $1,000 between 10 of my followers on my Instagram page. All you really have to do is go to my Instagram in the description down below. It's the flight mic and the giveaway is literally my latest post. I figure this is a good way to give back to you guys, but obviously this is also a good way to get some of you guys that follow me here to go check me out on Instagram. Now, before we get to the content, guys, this video is sponsored by Raycon. Guys, I know I'm not the only one losing my mind due to this COVID-19 stuff. And the one thing that has completely shaken my life up the most is the fact that all gyms are closed. So now I have to come up with brand new workouts and I have to do them at home. But even more so, I need to figure out a way to listen to my music without disrupting the rest of my household. And typically I'd have a lot of difficulty doing that because most earbuds would slip out of my ear or I would be able to hear everyone else's racket as I'm working out and would completely disrupt my workout. But that's why I love the Raycon Everyday E25 earbuds because they're these two beautifully designed earbuds that first of all, slips right into your ear, and then second of all, you don't hear a single thing once they're in your ear. They're completely noise isolating. I love using them for when I work out, and I really enjoy using them for when I'm editing videos. And furthermore, they're so inexpensive. They're a much higher quality earbud than any other earbud on the market, and the sound quality is significantly better. They also gave me a 15% off code for you guys to use, so either click my link in the description down below, or go to buy rate raycon.com forward slash flight mic for 15 percent off and thank you to raycon for the sponsor so for those of you guys that watch me live stream on twitch you would know that i typically live stream with another well-known nba news commentator named get like coop and shout outs to coop by the way he's about to hit 100,000 subscribers if you haven't checked him out go ahead and check him out but one of the things him and i would frequently bag on each other on is the fact that he's a Pelicans fan and I'm a Laker fan. And we go back for like the past 10 years, bro. So during the lockout in the 2012 NBA season, when the Lakers acquired Chris Paul, I would go ahead and bag on Coop. And when the trade got vetoed, Coop would bag on me. And more recently, when the Lakers traded for Anthony Davis, I would bag on Coop, you know, saying that we stole your superstar. And he would bag on me saying that we absolutely robbed the Lakers of all their young assets. So there's a little bit of a rivalry between us, but the reason I'm telling you this is Coop said something and implanted something in my brain that absolutely terrifies me. And that's the fact that Anthony Davis could potentially leave and he hasn't been saying anything to make Laker fans feel better about that. Every time he has been asked about the future, he just talks about the present. He literally said recently, I have no idea about free agency right now. I'm worried about this season and what I can do to focus on helping the Lakers win this year and then when that time comes, then come do an interview with me then, we'll figure it out. But here's the thing, we're gonna talk about two things here. One, the media will absolutely do anything to create a narrative that Anthony Davis will potentially leave the Los Angeles Lakers. And the thing is, the Lakers are in a situation where they put all of their eggs in the Anthony Davis basket. You forget, this isn't like a superstar. This isn't the Dwight Howard situation. The Lakers didn't give up a injury-prone center to get a superstar and have that superstar potentially leave. No, the Lakers essentially handicapped their future and present, assuming that Anthony Davis leaves, in order to acquire AD. Meaning, if he leaves, that means Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Josh Hart, and multiple unprotected first round picks, which are going to come into play literally like three years from now, when the Lakers are probably not going to be relevant anymore anyways, or unless, you know, barring something unforeseen, a signing of a superstar, LeBron James miraculously performing like he's Tom Brady and still being productive into his 40s, this trade could absolutely doom the Los Angeles Lakers if they don't retain Anthony Davis. And Anthony Davis is being cold-blooded. He is doing the Lakers no favors. He is not even giving the slightest idea that he might resign. Many people in his circle are saying, look, there's no point of AD leaving. Where would Anthony Davis go if he could go somewhere? You literally recently moved from a smaller market in New Orleans, although a beautiful city, by the way. I was about to visit it before the entire pandemic, but such a beautiful city, such great culture over there. But he moved from New Orleans to a place that not only is contending for a championship, but is, but is notorious for being a phenomenal place to live and a great place to grow your entertainment brand and your personal brand. So Anthony Davis could 
win championships potentially down the line, and also focus on his life after basketball. He could be the face of the Los Angeles Lakers, and he could be the next great big man for the Los Angeles Lakers. I don't know if there's a team out there that could potentially offer him a better deal, especially considering the fact that the Lakers could offer him the best max contract possible. But with that being said, now we have to look at the other side, and then I'm going to give you my analysis. Anthony Davis recently listed his house in California with an asking price of $7.995 million in Westlake Village, California. So that's causing a lot of Laker fans to get scared because initially we heard rumblings about Anthony Davis potentially entertaining the idea of going back to Chicago and playing for his Bulls. But again, bear in mind, I'm going to always be honest with you guys as a news YouTuber, the media, especially now that there's a pandemic, will do absolutely anything to get your attention and create these narratives just to get you to click on their content and invest in their content. Don't believe everything you hear. There's better analysis here, and I'm going to give it to you guys in just a second. There's something that I need to draw. There's a parallel I need to draw to this, and that's the fact, and this is probably what scares me as a Laker fan, is about three years ago when LeBron James was in his final year with the Cleveland Cavaliers, well, he went ahead and listed his Cleveland home for sale. And initially, of course, whenever an athlete posts his house for sale, there's this assumption by the media that he's about to move because he has to live somewhere. And here's what ends up happening. LeBron James lists his house for sale. He says nothing's going to happen. We'll see what happens after the season. Later on, he starts looking at schools in the Los Angeles area with Savannah. You know, where should we put our children in if we ever go to L.A.? There's some rumblings about him potentially joining the Clippers before he joins the Los Angeles Lakers in the, on the first day of free agency in 2018. You get where I'm going with this. So as a result, a lot of Laker fans are scared. But here's the thing that you have to realize in addition to this not only does this draw a parallel to something that we've experienced recently where a superstar left a contending team yes the Cavaliers were technically a contending team even though they were on the tail end of their contention to join a new team that had no prospects whatsoever but in addition to that you have to understand that Anthony Davis declined a max contract offer of four years and 146 million from the Lakers just so he could retain the option of being a free agent. My man has leverage. This guy has the entire fate of an organization on his shoulders. Dude, if Anthony Davis leaves, do you think Rob Palinka is still going to be the general manager of the Los Angeles Lakers? When we got Anthony Davis, the first thing I thought is, damn, we gave up way too much. We had all the leverage. He was going to be a free agent next year. I know we're trying to make the most out of LeBron's prime, but we may have given up way too much. But now that we got him, so long as we get a championship out of him this year, it's all good. If Anthony Davis leaves, you could kiss Rob Palinka goodbye. There's many people's jobs on the line, and they're hinging on the shoulders of Anthony Davis' decision. Now that, you, now that I gave you guys an idea of the calamity of the situation, I am going to bring something else to your attention. And then at the end of this video, I want you guys to tell me whether you think Anthony Davis is going to leave or not. Because this one detail is probably the most important detail of all. And this could be the real reason why Anthony Davis put his Los Angeles house for sale. If you go ahead and pay attention to two things, one is the fact that Anthony Davis typically doesn't live in LA during the off season. If you pay attention to this other detail, Anthony Davis bought his house initially for $7.479 million in 2018. And if you pay attention to this, Anthony Davis bought this house during LeBron James' first year when LeBron James was trying to swing a trade for it to get Anthony Davis during the trade deadline to salvage his first season with the Los Angeles Lakers. That didn't end up happening. And now Anthony Davis is flipping it for $7.995 million. If you guys are paying attention to the state of our economy right now, things are a little shaky. I'm not an economist. You know, I am invested in the stock market, but things are a little shaky. You don't know what the value of your home is going to be in a week from now, in a month from now. And I'm assuming now that Anthony Davis could make 500 Gs, he is going to take the opportunity to do so. Now, furthermore, Rachel Nichols actually agrees with this. And she even had this to say. 
Anthony Davis is not even living in this home during this season because it's way too far from the Los Angeles Lakers practice facility. The odds that AD leaves Los Angeles is at 0.0%. There's multiple reports that say that says Anthony Davis is considered to be a lock to stay in Los Angeles and he is expected to stay in LA for the remainder of his career even when LeBron James retires. So there's two sides of the coin. Which side are you believing? Are you believing the reports that are saying he's most likely going to stay? Or are you a little sketched out by his behavior? If you ask me, I think if I'm Anthony Davis, I just put myself in his shoes. There's nothing that there's no other situation that could potentially be better than the situation I'm in right now. So I'm going to probably stay in L.A. if I'm Anthony Davis. But let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Aside from that, guys, I'm your boy, The Flight Mike, and I'll catch you guys on our next upload.